happening now. Halloween festivities are getting underway. Downtown Santa Cruz expecting to see a lot of foot traffic tonight. Cowan's Anna Torea visited the area to see how police are keeping the community safe. Halloween festivities feel like they're already underway here in downtown Santa Cruz. I've already seen families and kids in their costumes ready for those trick or treating activities. But one of the things top of mind for police is safety. So when you're coming down here, you might notice some lamps that are posted in this area. On Tuesday afternoon, kids in their costumes in downtown trick or treating from store to store. I love about Halloween is that you get it like you get to spend it with your friends and family and how everyone dresses up. Even before the sun set, people were already getting in the holiday spirit. My favorite is seeing all the unique costumes that people put together themselves. Santa Cruz police spent most of Tuesday getting ready for the downtown rush. More lights also posted around to help brighten up the area. The biggest thing is just be responsible. Um, responsible with your consumption of alcohol, responsible as far as getting down to the uh, downtown corridor and, and getting out of the downtown corridor. Now, whether you're trick or treating here in downtown or in a neighborhood that you're familiar with, police say it's important to be aware of your surroundings. So Santa Cruz police were handing out these reflective trick or treat bags. Thankfully, we've got the streets blocked so we don't have to worry about cars and people having costumes that are hard to see in the dark. I think it's going to be safe and wonderful out here. I mean, the good thing is, um, as I said, the police will be around and there's a lot of visibility, so I think it'll be good. The safety enhancement program is also in place. A triple fine system is in effect, too, for people who are caught littering, blocking pedestrian or vehicular traffic, or drinking in public. Santa Cruz police say that if you see any suspicious behavior, make sure you report it to police. Reporting in Santa Santa Cruz, Anna Terea, KION News Channel 46. Thanks, Anna. That safety enhancement zone is going to be in place until 8 a.m. tomorrow.